All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've talked about logarithmic functions, what a logarithmic function is, and how you convert it from log to exponential and from exponential to log. Now, you have to be able to use the properties. At the top of the page, you will see a number of properties listed. These properties are properties you must memorize, you must know, okay? So if I have log base b, log base anything of 1, the answer is 0, because it says how many b's does it take to make 1? And the answer to that is the only way you make 1 is if I have b raised to the 0 power. b to the 0 power is 1. Here we have log base b of b equals 1, because it says how many b's does it take to make a b? The answer is b to the first equals b, so it's 1. Log base b of b to the x, well, again, if log base b of b is 1, these two are basically going to cancel, leaving just the x. If you have b raised to the log b of x, then, again, just like these cancel log base b of b, they're gone. b raised to the log b are going to cancel, and you're left with x. Now, that applies whether the base is b, whether the base is 10, because remember, if I see log with no additional base, log base 10 of 1, well, how many 10s does it take to make 1? It doesn't take any, so it's 0. If you have log base 10 of 10, how many 10s does it take to make 10? 1. Log base 10 of 10 to the x, they cancel, leaving just x. 10 raised to the log base 10 of x is x. The same thing happens over here. Now, remember that log base nothing of x is the same thing as log base 10 of x. That's what we assume. However, over here, if I have log base e, remember that e, that 2.718281828, that is going to be log base e of x, we call it the ln of x, the natural log of x. Now, given these properties, let's do a couple examples. Log base 11 of 121, how many 11s does it take to make 121? Well, 121 could be written as 11 squared, so how many 11s does it take? 2. In the same way, log base 9 of 81. Well, how many 9s does it take to make 81? 81 is the same as 9 squared, so it takes 2. Now, if I have log base not square root of 9 of 81. All right, now, in this case, we can adjust both pieces. How many square roots of 9 go into 81? Well, 9 times 9 equals 81. So if I have square root of 9, that together would only be 9. I'd need two more of them, and equal 81. Alternatively, you could rewrite square root of 9 as 3. How many 3s make 81? Well, 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27, times 3 is 81. 3 to the fourth power, 4 is the answer. This is a very common one. Let's deal with this one. Log base 10 of 0 .001. That is 1 over 1,000. So we change that decimal to a fraction. And if we say, well, wait a minute, how do I get 1,000? That's the same thing as 10 to the third, 1 over 10 to the third, or 10 to the negative third. So how many 10s does it take to make 10 to the negative third? Negative 3 is your answer. So we have a couple properties to base this off of. Now, sometimes we don't get the joy of having properties available to us. Sometimes we simply have to do log uh, base 2 of 14, and it doesn't go in evenly at all. If I, I say, how many 2's go into 14? I say, mm, I don't know. Let's see if we can come up with something. Well, in this case, the best you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to put it into a calculator. So we'll talk about that property and how to solve that in the next video.